What's going on? Dylan here, and today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to play Theory of a Dan Dance Panic Room from the Savages record. Uh, I'm going to tab this song out for you so you can follow along. With me, so you can follow along. Um, for tuning, what I'm doing here is from the original recording from Savages, they tune to drop C. So every string is tuned down a whole step, and then we're also in drop D. But if you see them do it live, they do drop B. But we're going to sit to the Savages recording uh, from, we're going to sit to the original recording. Um, let's get started. Um, we have that little opening line with the lyrics, Welcome to the Panic Room. This is uh, going to be really simple. It's going to be, it's going to be this. That's just six string, zero, three, five, six, and run it back down. And that's with that. That's with the opening lyrics. Now you're gonna hear this several times throughout the whole song. And then that takes us to the main riff. There's two guitars going on. Um, there's, I'm gonna show you the rhythm guitar first. It's gonna look like this. All right, you're gonna repeat this bit twice. It's gonna start out with an octave chord. On the 5th fret of the A and the 7th fret of the G, you're going to hit it, and then palm you the bottom two st three strings twice. So be... You're going to do that three times with each tail end, before each tail end, excuse me. Uh, the first tail end is going to be the same octave chord, but move it up to the 6th fret. So it would be... Then you go back. There you get the second tail end is gonna be the fourth fret barred. You go back. Then you're gonna go to the fifth fret barred. And then we have that then we have the ending which is that's just gonna be you're gonna go five, four, one, open. But with the first, with those first three chords, you're gonna palm them twice. Palming them twice. And then hit open once and just let it open, right? So it would be. So the rhythm guitar bit nice and slow goes. Context would be and that's the rhythm guitar. You're gonna repeat that whole thing twice. Um, then we have the lead guitar. It's gonna uh, these are gonna be all unison bends. Um, for the ease of for the ease of this lesson, I'm gonna to refer to the the note that you're bending to. It's gonna be the it's going to go B string, 10th fret. Where you're always going to come to that, you're always going to come to this bend each time. You're going to go 10, then down, quick down, then you're going to move quickly down to 8, back to 10, then go down to 7, back up, then quick change to 11. Then we're going to go to the high E string and bend the 10th fret. And do that bit twice. So the, the whole V bit is this. And that's the main riff. Then we get to the verse. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this verse riff. Um, here's what it looks like. Okay, so what that is, is going to be the, the fifth fret of the A, and you're going to pump, you're going to hit it along with the, uh, the sixth string open. You're going to hit it once, 
and then palm it twice. So we. So you hit it once and then palm hit it open once and palm it twice. And then hit it open once and mute the strings. So be like. You do it again. And then grab the six for the A. So be like. And you do it again. Then now this this next part is gonna be I'm gonna show you is uh, gonna be one way is based off of the cover and the other way is the way I, I see them do it live. One way is if you don't wanna do this the next bit I'm gonna show you, it's gonna you're gonna you can go eight and seven barred. That's just for the ease of it. Um, but the way they actually play it live, it's gonna be this. All right, that's just we're gonna hold like a triad coming out of an a B flat major chord. It's gonna be the seventh fret of the G and the eighth fret on the D and the A. You're gonna pick straight across from the high from the uh, G string to the A. Then do the same thing down one fret, and then grab a, a pinch harmonic on the seventh fret of the A on the G. Excuse me. So it would be this. So the whole verse would look like this. Excuse me. And just repeat that. Then we have the, uh, this is kind of like a, uh, this, this next part is pr probably the pre-chorus. It's just going to go 5, 8, and 7. But when we get to the 7th fret, just slowly let up. And slide that down. Then we get to the chorus, which is uh, going to look like this. takes us back to the main riff. Um, basically it's three simple chords. Open, um, you start open. Um, from the album, I, when I tab this song out, um, you can go 10, 8, 7, and down to 3. So we... You could do that, and that's what they did on the album. But if you see him do it live, he does open to a C5 to the third fret of the A, down a B flat to an open A to the third fret bar, and just repeat. But you could decide they're they're both the same notes. Then the, to end the chorus, you're going to go five to eight, and then you end the chorus by doing that little intro line again. So the chorus looks like this. Alright, up to there all those parts repeat. Then we have the bridge, which is going to be 5, 8, and 7. And then the second part is going to be the same thing, which is palmative. But when we get to the 8th fret, and just slowly let out the palmative on the 7th fret, and slide that down. And then we get to that little breakdown section. This is also going to be going on un during the solo. Um, the rhythm guitar bit is going to be this. And 
this is going to be going on under the solo. It's going to be six string open three times. And then you're going to go to the first fret, you're going to pull out the open. It'll be like. And then the first time through, you're going to end with. That's just six string, 12, 13, 10. And then you repeat that first part. And then you're going to do eight dead notes. And start that over. So it would be. And, just, and that's just for the rhythm guitar, that repeats over and over. And then the lead guitar. Uh, this, again, they're all used in bends, and it's very simple. Um, this kind of same, this this solo, it's kind of the same kind of effects like we did in the solo, like the solo in Rem in the Cedar's Remedy, like. Uh so it's something similar, um, like I said earlier. Um, I'm going to refer to the note that you're bending. We're going to go B string, 10th fret. Quit change to 11. Uh, you have two different spots with these last two bends. Uh, you can go high E string, 8th fret. And then up to the 10th fret. But you notice when we get to the 10th fret on the high E, it's going to be twice as long. So that's one way if you want to change strings. But if you don't, you can do move it up to the 13th fret of the B, then up to the 15th fret. And slide that down. And then you go. You're going to do the entire course twice. And then the, at the very end, when you go to the five and eight, you're going to hit the seventh fret tw twice. Once palm it in, one hit open, and slide that down. That's pretty much Panic Room. I'm going to leave the tab for the in the description for this song. Good luck.